Hi everyone. We're just approaching the 23rd of July and the 23rd of July is the most powerful day of any year. It also happens to be 2023. So there's a synchronicity there as well. Now, I've talked about this over several decades and a client of mine reached out and said in 2017, I remember you doing a video on the 23rd, but I couldn't find it. Can you just remind me of why this is important? And I thought I'd add a new perspective to this, a powerful perspective that you'll be able to grasp why it is so important. So on the 23rd, the star Sirius, a very important star in our sky and also in our history, rises before sunrise because it happens to be in the sign of Cancer. It comes above the horizon just before sunrise. And on the 23rd, the sun has just entered the first degree of Leo. Now, the sun rules Leo and the first degree is the purest degree. It's the most Leo degree of the whole of the Leo sun sign. And so the sun is at its peak. It's just, it's in sync, it's in harmony, it's shining through, it's in its natural sign. And Sirius is rising just before it in Cancer. And... It's equivalent to a new moon. But think of it this way. When the moon is new, it's in sync with the sun. The two of them arise, you know, when they come above the horizon or wherever they are at the exact peak. But when there's sunrise, the moon and the sun are very close to each other. And it's a very powerful time for, you know, new moons are always considered you know, the tides. It affects the tides. It affects human life. It affects life on this planet. Now, Sirius is eight and a half light years from our solar system. And as far as the energetic flow in our galaxy, it's upstream from us. So the energy is flowing towards our solar system from Sirius, if you think of it as a current in an ocean. And also Sirius is deeply connected to a thing called the Great Vortex, which is very much aligned with the source of all energy and feminine energy in particular. So it Relative to, you think of the solar system, including the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud, the whole solar system as the Earth, and Sirius relative to that being the Moon. And they happen to be lined up and in sync. And the Sun is particularly strong at that time. There is a huge surge of energy flowing downstream from Sirius, from the Sun being at its peak in the year, and from the two of them being aligned, there's this boost in energy to the whole solar system and to us on Earth, particularly triggered at sunrise. Now, that things like the Sphinx in Egypt were set up originally with a lion's head, not a, um, you know, a pharaoh's head on it, and it was lined up for that particular conjunction, you could say, for that particular day of the year. And at that point, Sirius and the Sun create a boost in the energy happening on our planet that runs for till the 15th of September. So from the 23rd of July, there's a peak, of energy, and then it runs all the way to the 15th of September. And then there's a break. And on the 23rd of September, there's another peak again. And this happens every year 
independent of all the other things happening on earth. This is a bigger picture thing. And so for thousands of years, this has been noted in many different cultures around this earth. And it's a regular surge in power and energy on a large scale, bigger than even sun cycles, bigger than the moon cycles. It adds value to all of those and takes it to a new level. So the point of this is take advantage of it. You know, <laughs> this is now because Sirius is associated with the power that's inherent in feminine energy, and yet it's working with the strength and energy of our sun, which is in more masculine. It's an incredible time where feminine energy can empower masculine energy and together they can create magic. You know, they can create real love. They can create dynamic cre creativity, you know, where the masculine energy, sorry, the feminine energy empowers the masculine to do what it's truly designed to do. So the energy of our sun is really empowered. And at the same time, the sun supports, the masculine supports the feminine fully in its creativity. The sun can draw upon and support the creative energy flowing from Sirius. And that's when the magic of real relationships can happen. This is when... If you tap into that, you can empower your masculine energy and support fully the creativity you have in your feminine energy, which is always there, but it's boosted. It's like, you know, having an ice bath or taking supplements or working at the gym. It's like you've got this burst of energy or having a major creative insight or starting something off that you've always dreamed of fulfilling. It's that sort of, wow, we've got this energy to work with, to draw upon, but it's naturally available in the environment. It's there for everyone to draw upon. And that's why the 23rd and the day's following through to the 23rd of September, 23rd of July, is such an important opportunity. You know, it doesn't force itself upon you. It's not as obvious as a full moon, you know, which is, wow, you know, it's like everyone's out. You know, it's not like that. It's deeper. It's more profound. It's deeply creative and deeply empowering and tuning into that and taking advantage of that on the 23rd of July and in the days and weeks following is a damn good idea. Now, if you're interested in knowing a little bit of the history behind that, there's a chapter in my epic transformational fantasy novel, Dawn of the Darkness, chapter 10, that talks about the history in a novel adventure form that lies behind this. So I'm going to include a link behind that, um, below this, I should say, where you can purchase that for $9.95. It's not a big ask or anything, but it's a very powerful novel, transformational novel, that taps into and draws upon that type of energy. And if you're interested at all in exploring that more deeply, in exploring the power that it gives to your imagination, the empowerment it gives to your masculine energy, the support it gives to the creativity in your feminine, that is a great way of tapping into it, reading that novel. So check it out. And I hope you really enjoy the days and weeks ahead. They're going to be fantastic for empowerment and creativity. Take care.